Have you considered drinking roots instead of beans? Let's talk about it. In my study of herbalism, I've come across a few interesting recipes. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my recently discovered favorites, dandelion root coffee. Begin by foraging for fresh dandelion root. My favorite place to find them is in the garden because then I'm also weeding at the same time. Bring your roots inside and scrub them clean with a bristle brush and cool water. Now we are going to dry out the roots. I have two methods that I like. For the first method, begin chopping up all of the roots into small pieces, around a quarter inch in size. Then transfer them to a cheesecloth or nut milk bag. The tiny holes in the bag allow for airflow and perfectly dry out the roots. Hang the bag and allow it to air dry for up to two weeks. This is my favorite way to dry dandelion roots. Another way to dry the roots is by hanging the whole roots by a string and letting them hang for up to two weeks. Once the whole roots are dry, you'll need to roughly chop them before brewing the coffee. They will be a bit hard to chop up at this stage though. I actually prefer using my hands instead of a knife. Once your roots are fully dried, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Roast the roots in the oven for 10 minutes, making sure not to burn them. The roasting roots will give off an almost chocolate-like essence as they cook. Remove the roots from the oven and allow to cool. Now it is time to make the coffee. To a teapot, add in four cups of filtered water, one fourth cup of dandelion roots, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Place on the stove on medium heat and allow to simmer for 10 minutes. Pour the finished coffee through a French press or strainer and enjoy. This beverage is delicious on its own or with cream and maple syrup.
This unique drink is not only delicious, but also high in many essential vitamins and minerals, making this coffee an excellent tonic for immune boosting, detoxing, and liver health.